How's it going everybody? It's Ryan. Welcome back to my studio and wow, I gotta tell you guys what's been going on. Whew, I've been so busy lately and uh, it's been a little stressful, a little overwhelming, but uh, I suppose in a good way. Uh, let me tell you what's been going on here. Uh, recently, I was accepted for representation at a gallery deep in the heart of Texas. Uh, it's called the R.S. Hanna Gallery, and it's uh, in Fredericksburg, which is about an hour and a half or so west of Austin. And um, it was a really cool opportunity. It was offered through the National Oil and Acrylic Painters Society, uh, which I'm a member. And uh, when I saw this uh, opportunity come up, I just went for it um, after some consideration. Uh, because I knew there was going to be a lot of work involved, and uh, sure enough, there has been. Um, but I went for it and got accepted. Um, who would have thought? <laughs> so uh, anyway, I have been incredibly busy getting ready for that, uh, filling out paperwork, sending emails, uh, getting paintings ready to go, uh, buying shipping boxes, uh, which were a major hefty price. Uh, but. Uh, hopefully this is all worth it. Hopefully this is a worthwhile situation. I tend to worry about things. I tend to overthink things sometimes. And uh, and, and one of the things that I, I worry about, especially with this, uh, uh, considering all of the expenses that are involved uh, just to get ready for it, I, I worry about, is it going to be worth it? Um, but... Uh, I'm hopeful, uh, I am prayerful, and uh, we're going to see what happens. The show opens um, on September the 1st. It goes through December, so it's a four-month commitment. Uh, so it's only a temporary representation um, with this gallery, but uh, hopefully those four months will pay off. Um, so uh, please, please uh, be hoping with me and be praying with me that this... Uh, is going to be a, a great time and a worthwhile thing because um, it, uh, it just felt too good to pass up uh, when I applied for it. So today I am going to uh, show you guys how to varnish and frame a painting. I'm actually going to be doing this painting back here. Can you see it? Um, this is one of the paintings that I'm going to be sending to the RS Hanna Gallery. Uh, so I'm getting it ready to go. Um, and um, I'm going to show you guys how uh, to varnish a painting and um, and then we're going to frame it. So uh, let's go to my garage and get this done. Alright, here we go. Here's the painting. You're going to need a couple of things uh, to do this. First of all, a painting that needs to be varnished is a good way to start. Uh, second, some, uh, some gloves to protect your hands because this varnish is uh, it's not the best stuff to get on your skin. So be sure to protect your hands uh, when you're doing it. A little brush, uh, this is just a one inch cheap brush. And the varnish, uh, I use a Winsor & Newton uh, varnish, glossy varnish. Uh, it's it's my favorite thing to use. Uh, sometimes I will use a spray varnish, um, particularly for my bigger paintings, which this kind of is, but I don't have any spray varnish at the moment, so we're just going to brush it on. Um, I like this stuff better anyway. And uh, of course you also want to be sure to pick the hottest day of the year to have your garage door wide open uh, so that you can do this and uh, sweat while you do it. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up just like that. And this is pretty easy, uh, pretty straightforward. As soon as you get the bottle open. And I tend to go um, from side to side, and I also go up and down. So I tend to start about right there. 
and go up and down first. still smell this stuff it is uh, it can be overwhelming so you want to make sure that uh, you're just being safe and smart about it all right so I've gone up and down I'm gonna go side to side now just to ensure again that every bit of it is covered and it is evenly covered evenly coated at this point um, the only thing now is to just let it dry uh, but that's uh, that's varnishing 101 for you all right so here we are uh, here's the frame uh, excuse me and I just had this little piece here uh, to show you what kind of frame I've got uh, it's just a very standard uh, gallery frame a wood frame uh, and ambience or amb ambience ambiance if you will <laughs> uh, that's the the brand name I got this off of uh, Jerry's Artorama so if you go to Jerry's and look for the ambiance gallery frame uh, that's what kind it is so anyway I really like Jerry's they got some great stuff especially when it comes to frames um, and so these are actually kind of new, uh, at least for me. Uh, I've not used these before, but I got three of them uh, for a few different paintings. Um, and the reason I like these uh, already, and the reason I liked them when I saw them online, is number one, they are a gallery frame, uh, which means they're, they've got this nice uh, thick depth to them. I think it's about an inch and a quarter. Uh, and they are just a very standard, uh, square black frame which is perfect for the type of paintings that I do. Um, I tend to stay away from uh, the really highly decorative paint or uh, uh, the highly decorative frames rather uh, for my paintings because I don't think my paintings really lend themselves to really highly decorative frames so uh, I, I like to keep it simple. Um, so I get uh, just a standard square black frame and it works perfectly. Uh, the other thing that I really loved about these frames is this right here, this backing. It comes with this backing and uh, that's something that um, that, uh, that I really need for my paintings. Um, if you're sending your paintings to a gallery, uh, pretty much the general rule is the more dressed up it is, the better. Uh, the more presentable it is, the better. And having a backing for the frame is definitely a plus. Um, sometimes, admittedly, I, I don't have any backing, any sort of backing on my paintings uh, when I take them to a gallery. Um, but uh, it's, it's always good to have it, um, just to, to make it look uh, a bit more presentable. Um, 
and plus it's uh, it's meant to be a protective uh, thing as well so so the backing is good I like it so anyway let's go ahead and fit this painting that has now finished drying from the varnish look how shiny it is beautiful and we'll just go ahead and slide it right in and it is a perfect fit Wow that could not have gone any better all right this is this is nice <laughs> there are no gaps at all it, it's not snug it is a perfect fit I love it all right now pretty much at this point what I would do is secure the painting in place using offset clips but I don't need to use offset clips for this um, because the backing will do that job for me um, because the backing just pretty much goes right in place here and there's a little slit on the side to stick these guys in here I feel a little silly filming this because this is pretty simple. Uh, there's really no work involved. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little more complicated than this, but it's really not. This is pretty much it. It's framed. Let's take a look. Perfect. That looks good, guys. Uh, I am happy. Uh, of course, the only other thing that's left to do, uh, but I'm not going to film it, is to attach the, the framing wire, and I actually have the hardware that goes for that. It also came with the frame, so uh, that's an even bigger plus uh, that I don't have to use my own framing hardware. Uh, but uh, pretty much, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It uh, comes with these little pieces that just go... Uh, look at this, they even have, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, they even have these arrows right here to show you which direction it's supposed to go. So it's going in that way. So yeah, you pretty much just uh, attach them with the screws and secure the wire in place uh, with these little flaps right here. And then you're pretty much done. It's ready to go. So, um, anyway, there you go. That's, <laughs> that's, uh, that is the very, very simplified version of how to frame a painting. Uh, I will probably do another video on framing that is a little more complicated, that uh, kind of gets into using offset clips and and uh, I'll even go into attaching the wire as well. I'm not going to do that for this video though uh, because this one's going to run pretty long. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this um, and I hope you guys learned something about how to varnish and frame a painting. This looks really good. Oh, by the way, I also keep these little uh, corner pieces uh, for the frame as well just for protection it's always a good thing to to hold on to these things so uh, that's my little bit of advice if your frame comes with these keep them so that you can stick them back on there all right there you have it uh hope you guys enjoyed this hope you learned something and i will see you next time all right god bless you all